Over the last couple of years, we've had an insane flux of new talent in the NBA that has shifted the league in a completely different direction. Players like LaMelo Ball, Tyrese Halliburton, Evan Mobley, the list goes on and on of great young talent in the league over the last three to four seasons. But there's always one player that is left out of these discussions for one reason or another, and that is the forward on the Orlando Magic, not Paolo Banchero, but Franz Wagner. Since Franz arrival in the league, he has been one of the best young players in the NBA and this year has had a very underrated season and I can go as far as to say he might be the most underrated player in the NBA. But before we go any further, make sure you guys drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and press that bell for post notifications. Without further ado though, let's get back to the subject of discussion and talk about Franz Wagner. If you look at last year's draft class, it was very clear that people had their eye on three guys, Evan Mobley, Cade Cunningham, and Jalen Green. And sure, there were other people that were noteworthy like a Scotty Barnes, Josh Giddy, or even a Jalen Suggs, but for the most part, it was seen as a three-player draft between Cade, Jalen, and Mobley. And by the season's end, even though neither of those players would end up winning Rookie of the Year as Scotty Barnes had a shockingly great rookie season, Mobley, Cade, and Jalen were talked about more than I would say any other rookie outside of Scotty. And you could argue that they were even talked about more than the winner himself. But what went under the radar has to be the performance of Franz Wagner in his rookie season. Sure, he made an all rookie team, but everybody makes the all rookie team. That really doesn't move me. But if you go look at the numbers and watch the tape, it was very clear that Franz Wagner was one of the best rookies in the league and one of the best scorers that we had at his position. Wagner put up averages of around 15 points a game, three assists, and five rebounds of steel, shooting 47% from the field, 35% from three, and 86% at the free throw line, which accumulates to a true shooting percentage just short of 56%. Wagner's scoring ability and offense as a whole was a breath of fresh air for an Orlando Magic team that was arguably the worst defense in the league, finishing 29th in points per game and dead last in offensive rating. As for when Wagner was on the court, they had a 107.6 offensive rating, which isn't great, but is far better than their 100 100.7 offensive rating that they had when he was off the court. Wagner was a very crafty player with a high basketball IQ. He wasn't the best at finishing as far as his efficiency goes, but he could still get to the rim and draw in attention. Using that attention, he was very good at making quick plays on the dime, but I think one of his best attributes that still goes under the radar to this day is his ability off the ball. Wagner was a good cutter and slasher off the ball and still remains to be one to this day, and in the left corner three-point shot from his rookie season, he shot 55.6%. And when a player like Wendell Carter, who's very effective in those short roll situations, Wagner and him were a perfect match. And Wagner was not only an impactful rookie when it comes to his offense, primarily his scoring ability, but also when it came to his defense. The Magic last year finished 20th in opponents points per game and 17th in defensive rating. And sure, that may sound bad to some of you guys, but considering that basically all their defensive players were out due to injuries for an extended period of time, I would say that's pretty impressive. Wendell Carter only played 62 games. Gary Harris, of course, missed basically 20 games. You also have Marco Fultz out with his injury. Chuma Kiki missed 10 games. And who knows when Jonathan Isaac is ever going to play again at this point. So for them to still be relatively middle of the pack, I have to say that is very impressive. But one of the reasons for that was the shocking impact of Franz Wagner on the defensive side of the ball. He can move his feet laterally very well on the perimeter, and he was good at getting in passing lanes due to a high basketball IQ defensively. So when you look at Franz rookie year as a whole, it really is surprising that he didn't get talked about enough compared to other players in his draft class. But hey, I understand it. The Magic are not a team that's going to grab a lot of headlines unless there's some championship contender like the Dwight Howard days or the Shaquille O'Neal days. And I think that's been a big reason why this year, just like his rookie season, it's gone under the radar just how good he's been and how much he has dramatically improved as compared to his rookie year. Wagner this year has seen significant jumps 
jumps in numerous categories when it comes to his scoring, especially as of late. Wagner for the first time in his career has finally eclipsed over the 20 point per game scoring mark. But if you look at what Wagner has done over the month of January in the new year, he has played tremendous as he is averaging 23 points a game, nearly three assists and four rebounds, a steal and a half, shooting 54.5% from the field, nearly 47% from three and 78% at the free throw line. To understand how insane that efficiency is, that translates to a true shooting percentage of nearly 67%. And if you think that's just some hot stretch, on the season he's still a 20 point per game score on 60% true shooting instead. Wagner is still a very impactful defender and considering that Wendell Carter has missed a decent amount of games this season, I'd say Wagner is holding up his end the best that he possibly could. And it's not just about the statistical improvement when it comes to Franz, I mean he is on a bad team so I expect his numbers to jump in certain areas with more opportunities than most. But when you just watch him play, his ability to get to his spots in the mid range, his step back is impeccable, and he's a much better attacker of the basket as compared to last year where he struggled in the restricted area. Franz this year is shooting 66% at the rim, and in the mid range, get this, he's shooting 50%. Franz is what we call a pure hooper in the NBA community, and that's never going to change. It's amazing that whenever people talk about the Orlando Magic, it's usually about Paolo Banchero, and I'm not here to say that he doesn't deserve the praise because y'all know how big of a Paolo fan I am, but I don't think enough people are talking about how Franz can become a potential perennial all-star caliber player going forward as soon as next season. Because with his increased play from last year, jumping from a 15 point per game score to officially a 20 point per game score in the NBA, combined with his improvement at getting to the rim, adding a signature shot with the step back, his improvement in the mid-range area, and his impact on the defensive side of the ball, I don't see why he can't become one of the better two-way wings that we have in the league. I mean, just think about the NBA community for a second. If you are on Twitter, by the way, follow me if you're not, you've probably heard the memes over and over about how Scotty Barnes looks like a Michael Carter Williams 2.0, or about the recent comments and dialogue that's been made about Jalen Green and the Houston Rockets young players, especially after that John Wall interview, which was pretty crazy by the way. We spend more time talking about how Scotty Barnes and Jalen Green could potentially be bust and one hit wonders, instead of talking about a guy like Franz Wagner who has superseded expectations time and time again and is one of the best small forwards in the league at 21 years of age. And I don't think that this is just about the Orlando Magic being a bad team because I can't help to think that if this guy was on the Knicks when they used to be so sorry and trash or the Lakers when they had the Jordan Clarkson and D'Angelo Russell era that he would be getting a lot more love and attention. And hell, I won't lie, he is white and he's not American. So that does play a factor in this as well. But I hope I did my job to educate you guys on one of the best players in the NBA that you should keep your eye on if you haven't already. Franz is a future star in the NBA and I believe will become a perennial all-star in this league. If you disagree though, let me know down below in the comments why. Also, don't forget to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and press that bell for post notifications. This is your boy Young Mustard signing out. You guys stay safe and have a blessed day. Peace.